Good morning, Laura. Today is Wednesday, August 25th, and I am coming to you live from the stairwell of my house. Okay, it's not really live anymore, but we're just going to pretend. So yesterday I was watching a show on TV called What Would You Do? And I think you'd find it really interesting. It's kind of like a really weird version of Candid Camera, except it's all like ethics and psychology. Essentially what they do is they take a situation that's actually happened in real life, like one of the events yesterday was some clerk at a store giving a blind woman back the wrong change. And then they have secret cameras up and they film what the people do in that sort of situation. It was interesting to see that sadly not that many people got involved in that situation. Like, like okay, they had several experiments. They got involved a lot more when it was a blind woman than when it was a blind man, but not always. Like, I think they said about half the time the blind man left the store with the wrong change. He was supposed to get like $34 back, but he instead got six $1 bills. But my mind is just blown by the fact that this event has actually occurred at some point. Like, okay, I've cashiered, you know, obviously, and I've worked with blind people. I don't know if you have or not, but okay, if it's $34, you get out $34 and you give it to them. You don't get out $6. Like, that would never even occur to me to think of. I had to think for a second why they were getting $6. So yeah, sometimes the show is interesting because you get to see what the people do, but sometimes I just think it's interesting to see that that situation's actually happened. Speaking of which, like, yesterday, actual event, not on TV. Yesterday I was in a store getting some last minute stuff to replace flood stuff still. So I'm just about ready to move down and it's very, very terrifying trying to pack stuff. I'm not a good packer. Anyway, yeah, so... I was standing in line at the checkout, and the lady in front of me hands the cashier a huge bundle of coupons, like that thick. And the cashier's going through, just scanning them all, you know. And she comes to this one coupon that won't ring up, and she's like, This is a coupon for a specific clothing brand, and you didn't buy any clothes. And, you know, I've been standing behind the lady, I saw obviously that she didn't buy any clothes. And the lady was freaking out, and it's like... Dude, if you didn't buy any clothes, you can't use the clothes coupon. Are you that much of an idiot? Sorry to get on another cashiering rant, but that was, you know, like, my life for a few months. But I don't understand why people think that if they argue with the cashier about something like coupons, that's going to help their situation at all. Like, okay, I could understand if they got something wrong and they refused to fix it. You know, that happens. Coupons? Legally, a cashier does not have to accept them if... They don't like your haircut or whatever. So if we don't feel like it, we don't have to take the coupon. Why would you piss us off when your chances of actually being able to use the coupon you brought in that you're so mad about go way down? Like, when somebody starts yelling at me about a coupon, I'm just like, yeah, you don't get it. Anyway, crap, I'm supposed to be packing. And I've spent like 20 minutes <laughs> making this video. I'm stalling. I don't want to pack. Okay. Oh, so I don't know when summer officially ends. Is it Monday? Uh, anyway, if we're ending either Friday or Monday, you should tell me whether you want to actually do like a trial run for the school year just to see if it is way too chaotic. Yeah, I will again leave that up to you because I can find time to do it no matter what. Yeah, anyway, I will actually let you go. So, I will talk to you on Friday. Bye!